morning. It's um, about 8.30am, Sunday the 9th of December 2017. We're here in Christchurch, New Zealand, 43 degrees south latitude. It's a lovely warm morning, given that we're early summer and we've had a bit of a run of hotter than average temperatures. I've got some plants here, and um, what I've got here is the castor oil plant from which the medicinal castor oil can be prepared. Note, please do not try to prepare this at home unless you know exactly what you're doing because it does contain poisonous compounds which with medicinal castor oil the, the poison part is left behind. So, you know, only do the, make the medicine out of it if you know what you're doing. Uh, now the castor oil plant can really only take a hint of frost, one or two degrees Celsius um, of short-lived frosts. And here's a couple that did survive the winter. So it's about half a metre high. It was about uh, 200 or 300 mil high, 250 mil high, up to about here when it survived the winter. And it's grown all this since, since winter's sort of turned into spring and now early summer. And I survived by keeping it right up close to the wall of the house. There's a brick, brick building here. This one's um, actually got uh, it was also frost damaged, I think, a little bit, or they, the cold damaged. You can just sort of see a little bit of fluff there, that's actually a flower. Um, and uh, a previous flower spike, it's actually got these little knobble things, that's actually the uh, seed capsules, later they will dry, like a sort of dry wood, and then you hear them go <coughs> on the warm afternoons, and they go <coughs> and the seed flies off several, uh, a couple of metres, six feet away. When, once you've had one growing in the garden, and only in some particularly mild winters have they overwintered, even with some damage, and then got enough grown the second year to set seed. And the seed, like any seed of a drought-tolerant Mediterranean climate thing, can last many years in the soil, and um, the hard seed coat slowly breaks down. Here's, um, and so we're, I had one a couple of years ago over the other side of the, the house. Um, this one's just sprouted, and they do look like a pumpkin seedling. If you know what a pumpkin seedling likes, or a cucumber seedling when it first sprouts, it's got that sort of fairly fairly similar look to it. So that one's just sprouted, and where I had some growing out in the front years ago, uh, I've had seven seedlings this time of year. You get them spring and summer, so I go and dig them up, put them in pots, get them as big as I can, and if I, that one's... Now that's its original sort of pumpkin-like seedling leaves and now it's got the multi-fingered leaf starting to develop and as it gets older and older they get more and more fingers shapes on the leaves this one's a little bit older again, that's a weed, we'll get rid of the weed and you see you've now got what's that, two, four, six, seven pointed leaf there these are not cast oil, these are Fetsia japonica, which is the Japanese aralia it is sometimes confused with castor oil Whereas the castor oil plant, even one that's got a bit of growth on it, will tolerate like a one degree frost. And um, as I say, in this climate, you can keep some alive in pots right up close to the building. Sometimes a bit might survive with some damage. These will tolerate, well, they can grow them in like Czechoslovakia. So they can tolerate uh, something like negative 18 of frost or something. Um, Certainly we've had, on those very rare occasions, we get a big dump of snow in winter. If it's got any of the little flower spikes coming up going to drop seeds, they do get all killed off by the cold. But the, the normal leaves are fine. When these sprout, keeping in mind with this sprout it looks like a pumpkin, that's the true castor oil in my left hand, in my both my hands. When these ones sprout, you do get this distinctive, almost heart-shaped leaf. It's lost its very first one, it is heart-shaped and not really divided. Um, so once you're used to seeing them, you can tell from even when they sprout. And again, once I had none of these in the garden, but there was one in the neighbour's garden, and then the seedlings just started to pop up, especially where I watered things in potted plants or near potted plants where the water leaked out of them. Lots of little seedlings would pop up. Apparently the, the Japanese aralia, the... Um, Fatsia japonica can also the parent tree can throw up suckers. I've not known that to happen here. Whenever I've dug up little ones, they've been just an independent seedling. This one, 
probably had that growing on for a better part of a year, but uh, I have so many plants growing, they tend to be pot bound for ages before I get around to repotting them, or people give me some plastic pots, so I run out of pots and I can't pot things up until someone gives me another batch of plastic pots. So I just got around to potting up a bunch previously. Um, that's about the size I try to dig them up if I see them. They turn up in pot plants and things, and if I can, I dig them up and pop them on. Uh, and they get bigger and bigger. I'll uh, turn the camera around. No, I won't. I'll, uh, oh. And these can be used in a house uh, as a house plant in brightly lit areas, the Aurelia, the Japanese Aurelia. If you're um, in places where it's too cold uh, for them to grow outside, but they'll certainly grow outside pretty much all of England. And, and as I say, um, what's occurred to me I might do, uh, I was given this one big pot, the biggest pot I've got, and uh, as a comparison, this is a standard two gallon or 10 litre plastic bucket, nine or 10 litre plastic bucket. So that must be uh, about 40 or 50 litres total capacity that and I've got a saucer to fit it. So what I thought I might do sometime is, uh, is I'll get a few of these castor oil, get two or three, put them in that. I can have them outside, get them as big as I can this first summer, and then with a saucer I can uh, clean it up and put it in the living room as a big indoor plant with um, as uh, over the winter. And that way, at least I'll have one or two survive the winter, uh, for sure, even if the next winter's a bit worse. The, um, uh, just going back to the castor oil again, uh, the, the main poison concern is with the seeds. So just a warning that if you've got little children that might eat the seeds, um, really make sure that they, you don't have seeds lying around. Whether you go around, whether you don't grow the plant at all, whether you snip the uh, seed stalks off before they form or whatever. Uh, it's not so much a problem for adults because if, unless you deliberately eat the seeds, it's not really an issue. Uh, the, the leaves might have a minor toxin in them and the sap might have a minor, minor toxin, but it's an irritant rather than, it's not gonna kill you. The um, And with castor oil, you see these multi-segmented leaves, which is a nice shape, which is, which is, you can see why it would be confused with, in the right hand here, the Japanese Aurelia, the uh, Fatsia japonica, and in the left hand here, the castor oil, uh, Ricinus communis, from which the medicinal castor oil does come. The sun's just come out, because I'm hoping a bit of uh, cloud would just soften the light a bit. The, um, it, the, the oil can also be used, it has certain rare properties which make it useful for some industrial uses, so it's uh, quite useful there. But as again, as I say, there's a special way of making the oil that leaves a poison behind. But the uh, multi-segmented leaf, and those leaves can become almost a metre in diameter. Um, so, uh, under the right circumstances, with enough water. So, that's why I'm thinking I might try them as a, instead of just bringing them in in late autumn and early winter, sort of bringing a couple in and when they've already been frost damaged and trying to keep them alive I thought if I get one as a nice looking plant in a, in a big pot and then bring it in in early autumn even before the cold started to damage it so I might pot that up uh, the sun's shining on me now so we might just kill the video there and um, I might show you later on <laughs>